Over the long and storied history of the Bama Bantamweight division, two names have consistently sat on top of the contender's pile. Their paralleled success has set them on a collision course, and at Bama 30, with the title on the line, this long-standing rivalry will reach boiling point when Shea Walsh and Alan Philpott finally go head-to-head -head in Dublin. Northern Ireland's Alan the Apprentice Philpott has long been amongst Europe's elite 135ers. Possessing slick grappling skills and unrivaled striking speed, Philpott earned his reputation as a proven finisher with 11 wins inside the distance. After falling short in his first shot at the title, the apprentice has returned with a renewed determination and a burning desire to finally win the Bama world title. In his way is a former champion desperate to reclaim his throne. A product of the famed Tiger Muay Thai gym, Shea Walsh rose to the top of the division using his devastating kickboxing ability and a relentless fighting style. Since dropping the title in 2016, the hardened veteran has reinstated himself as the number one contender with impressive back-to-back -back wins. Shea Walsh! The Englishman now stands on the brink of history with a chance to be crowned Bama Bantamweight Champion once more. My will to win is bigger than anybody. I've bounced back after my defeat to Tom. I've been non-stop training and improving. This is the perfect time for me to get hold of this belt again. Over the last six months, I've just took it right back to basics, back to square one. Strength conditioning, started from scratch, building that back up. He can't keep up with this. No one's going to be able to keep up with this. The boxing, I'm twisting any of my shots more, I'm sitting on them, I'm landing with more power. We're going to see a massive difference, because when I hit Shea Wallace's chin, his head's going to be spinning. We're usually knocked out. He hasn't got the stopping power to have any effect on me. As soon as I start putting it on him and he realises that he's not going to have it all his own way, he'll start to fade, and that's a bad characteristic to have against me. Well, he's going to come out and he's going to try and push the pressure on me. When that feels for him, when I put the pressure on him, you'll see him slowly crumble and break. I'm going to put him away. I've been in way, way worse situations than him and never crumbled in a fight. We're talking about a guy that taps quick and looks for a way out. He jokes in big fights. He's going to get beat up badly on live TV. I just feel that he's had his time, his time's up. Now it's my time to prove that I am next in line. I'm the main event for a reason. This is my show. This is my era.